Well, there's an unlikely place in Carbondale where you can find a unique grilling experience, hard to find any place else in our area. That's right. You know, Brooks is pretty good at finding these she places. She is good at yeah, finding these places. Yeah, she's found some pretty neat places lately, and this week she's giving us a first-hand look at a really unique place in her taste of the region. SIU is cooking up something new that's both healthy and delicious, plus there's almost unlimited options. The university recently put in a Mongolian grill at True Blood that's open to students, faculty, staff, and the public. Always looking for ways to make the dining halls a little more exciting for our students, and we know a couple schools that have tried a concept like this had some really good success with it, so we decided to run with it. What's kind of been a highlight, you know, for not only for the students, but people in the community who have come in to give this a try? Uh, they really love it. So the, the, the concept of a Mongolian style grill is not really uh, present in Southern Illinois right now. And so it's something new we were able to bring into the area. Diners start by choosing between two distinct bowls, one for vegetarians and vegans, and the other for those who like to eat meat. This week, two graduate students who are dietetic interns are making me bowls to try. First up, Kaylee Allen. Obviously, the first thing that we're going to start with is the vegetable. So yes. where are you going to put in your bowl? Uh, I usually grab some broccoli and then I really like to get some of the peppers. Just really make my bowl really colorful. Then diners choose between two different noodles, the type of meat they want, and what sauce to grill it all in. Up next, Rhea went a different route, putting together a vegetarian bowl for me to try. I actually grabbed just a few pineapple, just because okay. it adds like a nice sweetness that caramelizes pretty well. And then I add just a bit of, of kale. Getting the greens in there. She opted for no noodles, so a great option for those who are low carb or keto. This is where the bowls for vegetarians and meat eaters being different comes into play. It helps chefs to distinguish between the two so the meals can be made on different grills. I got to give each bowl that the girls made for me a try, starting with Rhea's vegetarian bowl. Is there anything in there that kind of helps add that protein element to it? Yes, so once again, it is the tofu. But if you want, you can also supplement with some edamame, beans, or even you can top it off with peanuts for even more protein. And I know that you added mushrooms inside the bowl. Now it seems like a lot of recipes that are vegetarian have mushrooms in there because of the texture. It's very similar mm -hmm. to protein. Moving on to Kaylee's, hers had noodles, meat, and a bit of spice. I chose the slow burn sauce, so it has red pe pepper flakes in it. And then also, yours is pretty protein forward as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and you kind of chose some different sources of protein. Can you go over those with me? Yeah, so I like to kind of switch it up. I put some edamame in there, so that has protein, and then the shrimp and peanuts. So this week, we're gonna change things up just a little bit, and I'm actually gonna make my own entree. See, I like the little baby corn, so we're gonna put some of those in there for sure. I haven't had those in forever. Okay, put a little broccoli in there. Yum, yum. Would you like some protein today? I would like some protein. You know what? I'm, can I double up my protein? I, can I get some beef and some shrimp? Yes, you yeah. can. There's not a menu here at the grill, but if it did, this would definitely be on it. Well, the price of the grill also includes the dining hall salad bars, deli, dessert bars, as well as drinks from Pepsi Fountain. I'm sitting here looking at my time here. I might have to head over I know, there just here in a few. Right? That looks, looks good. So good. Unfortunately, it doesn't open until 11 o'clock this morning. Oh, but it's past open your bedtime. Past my bedtime. <laughs> and you know, they, they stay open fairly late though, 7.45 tonight. So. Okay. Oh, it's open late. Mm -hmm.